I want to just talk real quickly about how not to sprue something. Um, you know, we always talk about how to sprue something. And, you know, normally what we're doing is pieces are, you know, hanging from the cup and they're dropping down. And, you know, that's something that we dip over and over again. And we think about where the air goes and think about how the metal flows. Well, you also have to think about shrinkage. And so what you don't want is you don't want a situation where the weight of your piece is not being fed large enough. So this is actually a raven skull. It's got a little collar mount on a handle, but it's a hollow underneath of the beak as the skull would be. And so we've got tiny little connection points and like a weird sprue coming down the outside to the backside. And then these are supposed to be vents, um, you know, going up to the outside of the cup where you won't see a pour. This is kind of exactly the wrong way to do this. So what we really want to see is we really want to see that mass either closer to the cup or a very large sprue coming down through here, a gate basically, coming down that is feeding the material here. It might have a little tap going off to the upper part here because we know we've got a lot of thickness difference in here we got to be careful with. And so what we really want to do is exactly kind of the opposite or really maybe horizontal slightly so that we think about how the eyes drain and how this little cup drains. That cup's just going to be the top of a wooden handle for a cane um, so that we've got the weight of our material coming into the weight of our piece. We have less shrinkage then, right? Because we've got uh, head pressure from the cup above. And so that's kind of going to be a better way to go with it. So we're, we're going to go ahead and go all the way through this and, uh, and completely coat it burn it out and run with it and uh, I think we're gonna be okay but in the future we definitely do not want that mass hanging down the bottom without some kind of large gate feeding it um, but I would put that mass up closer to the top we're probably gonna do a pair horizontally this way underneath of the cup because there's no reason for us to be uh, only making one at a time like that when we could really be pouring two or three all right thank you